Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Algebra 2 Common Core Regions. We're doing this one question at a time. Here is question 21. Which value to the nearest tenth is the smallest solution of f of x equals g of x? And we have f of x equals 3 sine of 1 half x minus 1 and then g of x equals x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So the best way for us to do this is to plug it right into our calculators. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to plug in, let's plug in g of x first into the y equals section, the graphing section. So go y equals x to the third power minus 2x plus 1 and graph it. Let's see what we get. So we get something that looks like that. Now let's go to y2 and put in 3 sine of 0.5x close parentheses minus 1. So let's graph it. Let's see what happens. So just be careful here because we want to make sure, so I have this nice this nice curve that this is what the, it's supposed to look like, but just make sure if you don't have that, make sure that you are in radian mode. So we have a couple of different answers here. So what is the smallest solution to the nearest tenth? That's what we want to know. So if you look at the smallest solution, we're going to want to look over here because you could see that the two intersect each other at three points, one, two, three. But if you want the smallest solution, we want the smallest x value, which is right here, which is on the negative x value side. So to get that, we're going to go second, calc, and then go to intersect. So let's see. First curve, enter, second curve, enter. So let's see what we get. And we get negative 2.05. So remember, we, wanted to, we want to round it to the nearest tenth. So negative 2.05, if you round it, to the nearest tenth is negative 2.1, which is choice two. And that's our answer. On to question 22. Expressed in simplest a plus bi form, we have seven minus three i, plus x minus 2i squared minus 4i plus 2x squared. So we're going to need to expand this and see what happens. So let's write it all out over here. 7 minus 3i plus x minus 2i squared minus 4i plus 2x squared. So let's expand this. We have this binomial in the center here. So when we expand, we get x minus, let's make big print this, x minus 2i times x minus 2i, and then everything else stays the same. So when we expand this, let's, um, let's distribute everything. So we have x squared, x times x, then we have x times minus 2i, so minus 2xi, and then over here, we have negative 2i times x. We get the same thing, minus 2xi again. Minus 2i times minus 2i, that gives us a positive 4i squared. So, so let's simplify this a bit more. x squared, we can combine like terms here, negative 2xi minus 2xi will just give us minus 4xi. And then remember this i squared becomes a negative one. So this really becomes minus four. And now I'm just going to bring down the rest of um, what we had here. So left over, that wasn't a part of our binomial. We haven't touched these. We're just bringing them back down. We have 7 minus 3i over on this side. And minus 4i, well, let's put them in parentheses, minus 4i plus 2x squared. So now we can drop the parentheses, right? So we have minus 3i, we could drop that, plus x squared minus 4xi minus 4. And then be careful here, because we have a minus sign, we're going to want to distribute that minus sign inside. So this becomes minus 4i minus 2x squared. It's kind of like uh, multiplying negative 1 times each term inside. So now we're going to look to see if we can combine like terms anywhere. So notice we have these 2x squared values. So minus 2x squared plus x squared will just give us minus x squared. Um, what else do we have? We have these two i values, negative 3i minus 4i gives us minus 7i. There's a standalone minus 4xi here. And then we have 7 minus 4, which is plus 3. So now we want to look at our answer choices and see 
which choice looks most like this. So because nothing looks exactly like this, but but one of these is going to be equal to this, right? So if you look at our first choice, if we expand this on the side here, we have three minus x squared. And then remember we want to distribute so oh we have an i. So we have three minus x squared minus four xi minus seven i. So so I think this is our answer, right? Because, so let's just put this over here. So we have three minus x squared. This is choice one, just we're testing things out. Minus four x plus seven times i. So we get three x mi three minus x squared. And then remember we're distributing that minus one and we're distributing the i actually also. So we're distributing both. So we end up with minus four x i minus seven i. So if you notice, even though they're in a different order, we have a three here and a three here. We have a minus x squared here and a minus x squared here. Minus seven i, minus seven i, and a minus four x i and a minus four x i. So this this question is um, it's easy to calculate, but it might be a little tricky when you have to cross-reference each choice and make sure they match. But luckily for us, it turns out that the first choice is our answer. And just be careful, even though it's a different order, just be careful about matching those terms up. So this question shouldn't be too bad. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!